everybody. It's Friday, and I have some journals with me today. I have two. And the first one measures eight and a half by five, and it's a grungy journal. And I used a real pretty beige linen or tan linen fabric, and then I put some lace behind this picture here and a little bit of floral ribbon and crochet doilies and there's a little a little book page circle up under here to kind of give it a little bit more and then um, a flower and I did stain it not heavily stained but it looks it looks grungy and dirty and going inside I let the edges stick out and they're all torn and uneven and I hope I'm still in frame <laughs> over here I used muslin and I coffee stained it um, to make it look splotchy and then put parts of a crochet doily and a little bud there some seam binding and some more of that lace up there and then I tucked this in I used seam binding on the edges and I'm I'm really enjoying watching um, Chinese movies. Um, I like the historical ones and the or the costume dramas, and um, really I'm, I'm liking all of them. But um, they have these little booklets that they bring to the emperor. And of course, theirs is real thick, but um, you know thick. But um, I made a, a little mini version of it. And I put some fabric on it and grunged it up, some lace. And they have these, like, little emblems that tells what what has been written on the inside. And they write it here so they know what booklet they're looking at. And I used, uh, because I used part of that 1946 yearbook um, in this journal, their pictures and things, um, I, I made this one to match. And I put a postcard here. And this is a little advertisement for a place that used to be here in Shreveport called Kokomo that I swear to God had the best onion rings. You know, I mean, I had, I, we're talking over 50 years ago that I remember this. And I can still remember the taste. They were that good. And then it opens the other way. And this is like a little tuck spot here if you need it. And then you have that. So it's kind of neato. Something a little different. And like I said, I grunged it up and uh, stitched it in black. And all the edges are all uneven and inked and stained. And this has got a little bit of cheesecloth with some textured paper. And I stamped it in part of a dictionary page. A little bit of extra writing. I just love how that came out. Some of these came out so pretty I had to use them in the book. And then I outlined it in the black. I just let the outlines come through on the other side. It makes for neat different writing areas. A little tuck spot here with a card. Little mini pocket with one of those yearbook um, images and some different all different kinds of fabrics and laces up there and two little mini cards. And it gives you all this extra space to write too when you use a mini pocket. And uh, another pretty image here. This has been inked up. This is one of those papers that came out. You know, you never know what you're going to get when you coffee dye. And this one came out really pretty. And I used a piece of lace here with a little bit of textured paper that I stamped on. And then just different pages of uh, papers to journal on. Some cheesecloth over here and another pretty lady. And then I used part of a book page, the seam binding cheesecloth, a little flower emblem. And all this has been inked and crackled and stamped and all kinds of stuff all over it. A um, little piece of muslin up here with some paper and a pretty image of a lady. And over here, all this journaling space here, plus um, an envelope for storage. I didn't put anything in it. But it's uh, just an envelope for you to store your things in. <coughs> Excuse me. Another envelope over here. And this is all stamped and sewn. And then 
this is for storage. Got nothing in it, but uh, but it's ready for your things. And then I used a Rolodex card and just did a collage of different things, some things from that yearbook. Sitting there in college is a college here in Shreveport. Another tuck spot here with um, some, droop, some droppy, droopy, dangling tags. <laughs> and two cards. I must need more coffee. You know, you, sometimes you just never can get enough coffee. Another tuck spot there with a pretty lady. This has been embossed and inked up. A little butterfly and some fabrics. This is, um, you could put another, well, you know, I think I will. I think I'll turn around and find something to stick in there. But it's a tuck spot and then a tuck spot behind. And I put uh, a prescription. You can get these, uh, down. you can download these from uh, the Graphics Fairy. And then another card for journaling. And that's some of that textured paper with a butterfly stamp, part of a book page and um, scrapbook paper there. You have a tuck spot here if you need it for anything. It's a diagonal belly band with a real stamp. And then on the inside I put um, a little ledger sheet with a image of a bookstore. I love that image. And it's been coffee dyed. Are doing this upside down. Mm -hmm. A little image there, part of a book page from a Greek book that I have. Another coffee dyed paper that's been outlined. Another image here. Some lace running down the edge there and stitching. A pocket over here. I can't figure out um, what period this is from. I don't know if it's like from World War One, maybe. But anyway, their uniforms are pretty cool. And then I stitched down the edge of it, and it's got a pocket with two cards with some cheesecloth here and a little image of a perfume bottle. And a tuck spot here, and I put a, a little, some extra writing papers um, behind this tag, and then a little pretty image there. Some more lace and I just let the edges hang the papers you know from the other side just hang over another pretty coffee dyed paper with a little image nice big writing space another um, pocket and I added this little booklet it's just got different papers in it for writing or note taking or Keeping your passwords in or whatever you choose to to do. And then is this is a pocket. Yeah, that's a pocket. Look at that. That's two. Missing missing today. Got a collage here with a lady from that yearbook of just different uh, images, little textured paper. Another tuck spot here with some more of that uh, textured paper that I stamped on. And then this. I use this for a tuck spot, and it opens up, and you can put something in here if you wish for storage, and then this goes <laughs> this way, and then you have a, a card here for writing, and a pretty image of a lady with some uh, lace behind her. And then let's go this way. And in this one, I put a a uh, piece of cardstock. I just like the way the green went with everything. And just let it hang over the edge. You could completely put it in there if you wanted, but I just liked it like that. And then uh, a decorated page back here. And it folds up. And we'll put you back. You know, I like to see everything, so there we go. Another uh, tuck spot here with some lined paper and different papers here. And a collage here of fabric and paper with some cheesecloth and a uh, seam binding bow. Nice big page for writing. 
another tuck spot here with just a little bit of stitching and that's muslin and I just tore it so the F, the edges would be all frayed. Another tuck spot here with a collage, part of a invoice paper, a little bit of stitching, some more textured paper with um, flowers that were stamped and another card here. I love these with the stamps. And then we've got a teapot with some lace and some of that textured paper. And I just, like I said, this coffee dine came out so cool. And then I just added some extra notebook pages there. And then pretty, pretty lady there. What I really like in these is the hairstyles. You know, this is a collage here, a little tag if you wanted to make a little notation. Another little uh, tag here that I anchored down. Got a uh, tag with um, it's a it's a dressmaker's tag. I had to look at it, see which one it was. Dragonfly, and then some different layers of muslin. Another good page for journaling. Some of those pretty dyed coffee papers. Part of a book page cheesecloth with a little hummingbird and some flowers here. A nice image there. And then um, a little mini collage with some inked up muslin. And then a tag and a card with the fuzzies. And there we go. And the back is the same as the front with the crochet doilies and the lace and the seam binding and the staining. All the staining. This is a... Um, Shabby Dabby Doodah has got a tutorial on how to make these, and then she uh, references the lady who she saw had it. I went to her YouTube page, but there's a lot there, and, and I couldn't, I didn't have the time really to go through it, so I just followed Shabby Dabby Doodah, and it's really, it's cute. It's just as cute as it can be. I put it on a piece of um, heavy, heavy, uh, what do you call this stuff? It's, it's a little bit heavier than cardboard. And it's, she, she's, now hers is all different kinds of stuff. She put lace and she put a doilies and just all kinds of stuff. And I just put the papers and then I put a little, a little something on the pages. But she had all different papers and it was so cute the way she did it. This is, um, I had an extra piece from Medieval Mirage. So I used it and that's anchored. No, it's not. Looky there. There's a tuck spot if you need it. So I thought that was really cute, 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 cute idea. I always like to try the new ideas and see what they, see how they look in real life, you know, instead of on the video. And I really, really like that idea. And it gives you a good chance to use up a lot of your scraps because we all have them. We have buckets of them. And there's the back again. And here's the front. I want to thank y'all so much for being here with me today. I have got one more video and I'll be right back. See you in a minute. Bye-bye.